monthly birthstone look with my dear friend here on YouTube, Jarissa Rain, aka the Brutally Honest Beauty. So every month we go into our ColourPop and Kathleen Lights So Jaded palette and create a birthstone look for the month of whatever month the birthstone is for. Um, so this month is July and obviously the birthstone for this month is Ruby. So we are going to be doing a Ruby look today. I cannot believe that after next month this series will be over. Um, so this is like our second to last look. I cannot believe we've been doing these looks for almost a year. I feel like that is just like flew by. Like I feel like the first couple of looks that we did took a little bit longer, but now I feel like this year is just flying by. So let's jump into the palette. So you, before you guys check out my video and watch my look, go check out um, the Brutally Honest Beauties channel. I will leave her linked below, of course. I absolutely love Riri. She's my favorite person here on YouTube. I love her so much and I hope you guys check out her look. She always does beautiful, amazing looks. I love watching her channel. She always makes me laugh. She always makes me smile. She's the sweetest girl in the world. And she really needs your uh, support right now because she's been going through a rough time as well. And she was really there for me when I was going through a rough time last month. So I just ask you guys, you know, just to show her some love, show her some support and check out an amazing person because she really is like, I, I cannot believe how just amazing she is. Like she helps me through a lot and I do the same for her and I'm always there for her too and I really just love her to death. I love her so much. So let's go ahead and jump into this look. Okay, so for this look, this one's going to be a pretty easy, straightforward type of look for me. Um, so I'm going to go into the peachy color first, which is called You're a Gem. That's like my favorite um, shade and like my favorite shade name in the palette because there's like this running joke like with my mom and my boyfriend where my mom called him a gem once and then um, he says it to me like all the time saying like um, your mom thinks I'm a gem um, because she said about my boyfriend that he was a gem like you're a gem so we just like say it like all the time and it's hilarious so I'm just gonna take that one and run it all through my crease I love like these warmer tones in this palette. They are so, so pretty. And I figured to film this look today, I was thinking about um, doing a live today. I actually ended up staying home today because plans ended up changing. First, I was supposed to go pick up something from my boyfriend and then I was supposed to go to his house, but um... Oh wait, hold on. I just dipped into the wrong shade, of course, because um, my boyfriend texted me, and it, it always throws me off when someone messages me while I'm filming. Um, what was I saying? Um, but then that fell through because, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> because it was thunderstorming when I wanted to leave at like 1.30 in the afternoon and then it said like it was supposed to storm like all day it is starting to get cloudy again so I don't know if it if it's supposed to storm again but honestly I didn't want a chance being out in thunderstorms so I just told him I'll see him on Friday and then I asked my other friend if she wanted to go get manicures today um but then she decided she didn't want to so I was like all right cool so I'm just gonna stay home um, and clean. So I cleaned my bathroom. I did a lot of laundry. I actually did some stretches outside because it's actually a really nice day. Like it's not too cold and it, I mean, it's not cold right now, it's summertime, but it wasn't too hot. It's like 75 degrees today. So I was like, I think I'm gonna do some stretching outside. So I did that and I did some squats and stuff because I need to get back into working out so I've been trying to work out like twice a week now at least because I was really slack in there for a little while so just because I lost weight doesn't mean I'm in shape so I'm trying to you know do little things every day 
And I find that that motivates me more to just do little movements because honestly, like, let me just go into the cliche before we talk more. So for the crease shade, I'm going to go into the shade Garnet, which is this beautiful like red matte shade and I love it. It's one of the prettiest matte shades in this palette. But ever since, you know, I had COVID, it was very, very hard for me to get back into working out. But I was kind of slacking before that anyway. But honestly, during COVID and after I had COVID, it was so difficult to try to get back into doing things because it takes such a toll on your body that it's so hard to like go back into like working out and just going back and working and doing things like it still takes me a while to motivate myself to get out of the house to do things and stuff so I'm just like can I just stay home all day and not go outside into the outside world but I know that's not like reality I mean I'm not a shut-in but sometimes, you know, your girl just needs some downtime. So today I was just like, you know what? I'll stay home. I've been putting off cleaning for so long anyway. And then I was like, I'll just film my So Jaded look later to play with some makeup. Um, I honestly was thinking about just skipping makeup altogether today. But I was like, let me just film this while I have the time. And then maybe we might be able to post it a bit sooner for you guys. I think last month we posted it pretty late because obviously she knew I was going through hell. Um, but this month I think we might be able to post it a little bit earlier. We'll see. You know, life just gets in the way. So, because obviously my everyday life is more important than filming a YouTube video. But I do love filming videos for you guys. Okay. Just give me a sec. Okay, and then for the outer corners, I'm going to go in with the shade Jasper. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do an outer corner shade, outer corner shade, but I kind of want to start hitting pan on some of these shades, and this one definitely has more of a dent in it, but I feel like these shades are just going to last forever because ColourPop eyeshadows, I don't know about the newer palettes, but the, like, small, the other pans like this, like, they come with a ton of products, so it took me forever to hit pan on some of my single shadows, and then the only other one I've ever hit pan on in a palette from them is the Dream Street palette, which is just the shade Shooting Star. That's because it was my first ColourPop palette, so I had it long enough to be able to hit pan on it finally, but still have not hit pan on any of these shades in here. So I am trying. They all have really big dips in most of the matte shades. So I probably just have to depot a couple of these and put them in my singles um, palette. And then once I hit pan on them, I'll just put them back in here, honestly. But it's okay. I use them as much as I can. Probably after this series is over, I probably won't use this palette as much because... I am getting the Powerpuff Girls palette soon. It still has not shipped, and it's really bugging me that it hasn't shipped yet, so that's a little annoying. Um, and then for my brow bone, I'm just going to pop on my Precious. You guys know what it looks like. It's a matte brow bone highlight, so I'm just going to pop that on real quick. And then we will do the lid shade, which is obviously going to be ruby because... That's what this whole look is based around. But yeah, just a simple warm crease. What else is new for me? But that's usually what I do. So now I'm just going to pop on some pigment primer. Okay, and then like I said, we're going to go into the shade Ruby right here. This, The one thing about this palette, it is so annoying to hold up. These, Some of these shades are getting slight hard pan, but... If I scrape it up on the edges, um, it does pick up really nicely still. And this is such a pretty red shade. I'm just going to go into that and we're going to put it all over my lid. It is a little bit difficult to pick up right now. But again, it's just because this palette's like almost... Like... Almost two years old at this point. 
but they still perform really beautifully, so no complaints here. They actually just dick Oh my god, I can't speak. They just discontinued this palette, like, just recently. Um, because I've seen it available on the website, like, for so long. Like, the thing about ColourPop is that I have never seen a company keep collab things around longer than ColourPop, which is good, you know? Like, then people can have a chance to get it. They don't have to worry about it, um... Which is a little bit annoying because usually they, I mean, it's good because then people don't have to rush out and buy it, but I'm pretty sure every time they come out with a Kathleen Lights palette, they say it's limited edition, and then it sticks around for like two years. Like, the Dream Street palette and Zodiac palette were finally discontinued, like, I think earlier this year, and they've been available for like a long time. Like, Dream Street came out in like 2000 early 2019, I think, or even earlier than that. And I was like, damn, that was like a long time it was available. And this palette came out in September of 2019, and it was available for almost two years. So at least a year and a half. So yeah, um, I think a lot of people have this palette. And a lot of people say that this is their favorite palette from uh color pop and it really is like a gorgeous gorgeous palette um i think it's one of their most unique palettes they've ever done like honestly out of all the 30 pan palettes that they've re released this has been the most unique color story because all the other ones have been like either a huge neutral palette or like the into hue palette which did not get great reviews like people didn't really like that palette that much and then I saw um, Makeup Just for Fun actually swatched it. My mom is getting something outside or something. I don't, that's why they're barking. Sorry. Um, there's a huge mosquito on my windowsill right now. <laughs> um, all the other 30 pans haven't been as like fun color story-wise besides this one. And every time I see, like, someone ask, like, what is your favorite ColourPop palette? 99% of the time, people are saying this palette. Like, this palette or the Raw Beauty Christie palette or, like, the Lush Life palette that came out. Like, a lot of people are fans of, like, the darker, jewel-toned palettes from ColourPop. And they want more so like that. I mean, yes, they want color, but I feel like people are, are more of a fan of, like, the grungier colors and like the deeper tones because you know they also work for like a multitude of skin tones that way as well so this palette I feel like was very versatile for a lot of people and I think that's why people love it so much because you can do so much with this palette just you know me I wish that there were some pinks in here but other than that I love this palette it's fantastic all right so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the face just give me a second right, so we're just gonna prime my skin right now not that there's really a point because i'm not going anywhere but whatever so i'm just gonna use my next marshmallow primer they're barking because my mom keeps on going inside and outside so Okay, so for my foundation, I do want to test out this foundation today because I just want to see how it wears and what it looks like on my skin, to be honest. So I figured why not just use it today. So I'm going to test out the Tarte C Hydroflex Serum Foundation. And I got it in the shade 12N Fair Neutral. And I'm kind of just dying to put this on my skin right now. So I'm just going to try it out today and see how it looks. I've been hearing so many good things about this foundation. I think Riri just picked this up as well. And a lot of people have been saying it's really good. So, and I also have been watching Bobby Loves Beauty a lot. And she also said that she loves this foundation too. So we're just going to go ahead and apply it. I think I do need more because that's definitely not enough. <laughs> Um, but I just picked up the mini size because I wanted to try it out first. 
I probably should have just gotten the full size because 99% of the time I end up loving Tarte like complexion products but whatever all right let's see I am still thinking that this is going to be very similar to the um serum foundation like the C foundation oh my god that blends so easily and it looks beautiful on my skin I can already see how nice it looks I always get nervous about overhyped foundations though because then sometimes I don't end up liking it but that's more so what happens with okay this is interesting very interesting I don't think I've ever tried a foundation like this it goes on really liquidy but then kind of hyper like transforms into like a more like medium coverage foundation that is very interesting okay it looks beautiful on my skin i really like how that looks yeah i don't know why i just didn't get the full size that was kind of dumb um but i definitely think that this is a good shade for me too but i think what i'm gonna do is just go to the store return this and then go and buy the full size like a couple days later I can even just exchange it for the full size anyway they can't really do anything so that looks beautiful and it feels really nice I do feel it a little bit on my skin but that might just be because of the primer um but I feel like I probably should have just bought the full size it does feel slightly like a bit tight on my skin but again, I think that's just because of the marshmallow primer. And I also think it's because my um, sponge is not wet enough. That is really, really nice though. I love that. Looks beautiful. Okay, and since we're using the C line, I might as well just go into the Tarte C Hydra Sealer. So that's what I'm going to use. I love this concealer too. I am being so casual with my makeup right now. I just like, I'm leaning back and, you know, just putting the concealer on. Because I am just taking my time because I don't have to be anywhere. So, might as well just sit and chat. So, <laughs> um, so anyway. So I picked up that and I did pick up a couple of other things from Sephora. Nothing too crazy. I picked up like two lipsticks and a highlighter because you guys know I have to try like every highlighter in the universe. Well, what's funny is that I still haven't tried the Pat McGrath highlighters because they're not available at Sephora. So I can't use my credit card rewards to buy one of them because they're friggin' $50. And every time Pat McGrath has a sale it makes them like $38. And I'm like, I still feel like that's too expensive. I don't know if that's just me. I think I might wait until like Pat McGrath has like a Black Friday sale to finally try her highlighters. But I don't know. I just can't justify spending $50 on her highlighters when I can literally get like any highlighter that I want to try from Sephora from another high-end brand with a 20% off with the VIB sale or they do 10 to 15% off occasionally or I can use my credit card rewards and that's how I bought the Pat McGrath blushes I used $50 in credit card rewards so that's why I bought a few shades because I had $50 off and I was like that's a pretty good deal um so I basically got like one one blush free honestly um but I thought that was more worth it than spending $38 on one highlighter. I mean, that still would have been the same. But at the same time, like, I use my credit card, so I don't have to pay for it right away. And I just don't want it to hurt so much up front paying for it on her website for $50. Like, it's just a little bit ridiculous that her highlighters are so expensive. Okay, and then I'm just going to set. That looks so good today. I love how it looks with this foundation. They are literally made for each other because they are, but they literally 
blend so seamlessly with each other. Oh my god, this is going to be like my new favorite like everyday combo. Wow, it looks beautiful. And then I'm just going to set my under eyes. We're doing this all in real time today, I guess, because it's just the life we're living. We're living the non-edited filming life today. If I could find my powder brush, there it is. So then speaking of hydro and everything, I'm going to use my tart, my tart, my Becca powder as it goes everywhere. But I can see how it blurred my under eyes, so literally as I put it on. That's why I love this powder, but I am putting on way too much. I don't know why. I don't know why they're barking so much. My mom's outside for something. I don't know what she's doing, but sorry if you hear barking in the background. They are constantly barking. So if you guys have dogs, you understand. Like every time we go outside, they think the house is under attack or that they're never coming back, <laughs> especially my mom. Okay, and then for the powder, I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild powder. Of course, that feels so nice on, that looks so good. Oh my God, this foundation is so beautiful. Oh. But honestly, it's nothing like a extra special that I don't have already. So and I'm just going to use my ColourPop No Filter. Not the No Filter, the Pretty Fresh. Why do I always call this No Filter? Okay, and then for eyeliner, I actually want to use one of the newer ones that I have. And I'm going to use the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner. Oh my god. In the shade Cherry Pie. Because um, it's a red liner and I thought it would be really fun for this look. But I also want to smudge something on the lower lash line, because why not? Alright, just give me a second. Okay, and then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take that shade, um, yeah, Carnelian. Because I didn't use that yet, and I'm going to smudge it underneath. Hopefully I can use it with this brush. We're gonna do the same over here. So, Debbie just recently tried ColourPop again, and she said that this palette did not work for her. She had it, and she ended up decluttering it. And what's funny is that, like, this, I feel like that this was, like, one of their best formulas that they ever came out with, like, better than, like, the older palettes, like, the older Dream Street and stuff like that. But at the same time, like, those palettes, like, were very beginner friendly and this one was kind of more like um okay like let me get my followers like to try you know like something a little bit more advanced maybe the people that bought like my first two palettes like I'm talking about Kathleen Lights like maybe they have more experience with makeup now so let's do something like really fun and different um and she still didn't end up liking it but I don't know I love this damn palette so we all have different makeup tastes but there's a lot of people that I know that are friends with her that also love this palette so it just depends on what formula you are going for and what your taste is not everybody has to like this palette um and then for the inner corners I'm gonna go into the shade sandstone and then that will be it from the palette I feel like I am so far away I'm just going to take that and highlight my inner corners Oh 
want to make it really pop. I don't think she has a problem with their shimmers. It's their mattes and their glitters that she doesn't like. Because honestly, shimmers I feel like are easier. Mattes can sometimes be difficult, but I also feel like a lot of companies have gotten matte formulas down that like with ColourPop, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way they blend for her, but even when I was watching her video, like she, I could see like how light the shades were on her eyes and I was like, hmm, it's not for everybody and that's fine. I think she's going to like the Baroque palette though. Okay, I really wanted that inner corner to pop and I think that it did. So now we're just going to do a liner. So that is pretty much it for the eyes. And then for mascara, I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild mascara, but let's do the eyeliner first. And I'm going to use this red liner from ColourPop. This is beautiful. I love this. The cream gel liner in Cherry Pie. And actually, Debbie loves the liners from ColourPop. I'm not the hugest fan of them. Because I think that they're super rough on the waterline. I mean, not super rough, but they're, like, not the most comfortable thing. But this red one is so pigmented. Like, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm using the Cherry Mirror with the Cherry Eyeliner. Because that's the life we live. So that is stunning. Oh, I love it. I wish I had this for 4th of July because I was like thinking about using this with my um, main squeeze palette for 4th of July. But the cherry collection didn't come out until like a couple days after that, I think. Or like right before and I didn't get the order yet, so. Okay, and then again, for mascara, I'm going to use the makeup... Not Makeup by Mario, Caitlin. I'm looking at a Makeup by Mario package. So, the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And we are almost done. Um, so yeah. Just felt like staying home today and getting some cleaning done. And I knew I had something to film, so... I am loving this combo of everything though. And the, the concealer still looks awesome. Love this concealer. Tarte makes great complexion products. Like do not sleep on their complexion products. Especially their C-line. Holy crap, it's so, so nice. A lot of people do not talk about it enough. I'm like, it's actually really, really good. Okay, and then let me grab a bronzer. Okay, and then for bronzer, I'm going to go into my Milani Dolce bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze up my skin a little bit. There is a blush palette I really, really, really am dying to jump into. But um, I think I'm going to save that for when... Um, I go out again. Probably going to try it tomorrow before I work. I have a lot of stuff to do after this. Like, I'm kind of glad I stayed home today because, like, my schedule, thinking about my schedule now already overwhelms me because I have to do stuff early and it drives me crazy. Okay, so for the blush today, since I have not used it on camera... I think we're going to jump in. Actually, I think I have used this on camera, but I'm going to use it again today because I've only used it once. So this is the ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blush in the shade Sour Cherry. This Did I say in the shade? In the shade Sour Cherry? I'm not going to take too much because this is actually pretty pigmented. But I'm going to swirl it around first. Kind of sheer it out a bit. And I'm going to apply it. 
and then I'm gonna use my sponge to like kind of blend it out it is actually pretty red but I really like it and I wanted to try how it to see how it applies over powder and it applies pretty nice but I do like blending it out with a sponge want a little bit more then I also have two new highlighters that I really want to use, but again, we'll just have some self-restraint and not use them till I go out. But I wanted to use this one with it because I think it's a perfect shade for this because it's like a red blush, but it's not like too harsh and it's kind of, it's still fun, you know? I like how this blends out better than the bite one. I actually think that these are a bit nicer. I mean, again, liquid blushes aren't really my thing, but I kind of like how this one looks more on my skin. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. So that's that. And then for highlights, I think I am just going to use my Odin's Eye palette, and I'm going to use Odin's. It's like Odin, I think it, it, it is how it's pronounced. I'm going to use um, the peachy shade in here, which is this color right here. And I'm just going to take my highlighting brush if I could find it. It's right in front of me. <laughs> I can't with how like much shit is always in on my desk but yeah I'm gonna take the shade soul and we're going to highlight with that these are so stunning you guys I have heard though that these like cream blushes or liquid blushes kind of interfere with your highlight but since Odin's eye highlighters are so pigmented, I don't think it's a big deal. And then I have no idea what I want for lips. I think I'm just going to use one of my Gorage lipsticks because they're so fun. Take a little bit more and do that. And then I guess we'll figure out what we're eating for dinner tonight because I have no freaking clue. Probably just going to order something most likely. What was I wanting to eat? I kind of want Ben's. But there was something else I was thinking about. And we could go to All American, but I don't think mom's going to want to drive anywhere. Okay, and then I'm just going to set my face. And then we'll just do the lip. Okay, and then for lips, I really just don't know what to use right now. I'm going to use the new lippy that I got from Sephora. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Oat Milk, and we're just going to pop this on. I think it'll be a really pretty nude with this, yeah. Yeah, that's really pretty. I don't know. I'm kind of just over my lipsticks. They have such a nice formula for their lipsticks.
And that's pretty much it, you guys. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. Here are the eyes. You guys know I'm a sucker for warm toned sunset eyes. I think it turned out beautiful. The cheeks and the lips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I know it was a little bit crazy me trying to figure out what lippy I wanted, but I think that this is a really pretty lippy with this. Just a everyday nude shade. And I just wanted to see what it looked like on the lips. I might as well use it for a video. So I love you guys. Please like and subscribe. Again, please go check out Riri's video. I will leave her linked below in my description box. You will not be disappointed. She does amazing looks with these uh, with this series every single month and it's just been an absolute pleasure to work with her for this whole year doing these every month has been a blast i love her to death so yeah um please like and subscribe follow me on my instagram at cpw819 and check out my poshmark at the same handle at cpw819 i have sold like half of my listings um since i've started it so it's been pretty successful and i'm really surprised um but yeah, I love how this look turned out. I think that the blush is really pretty. It's kind of already fading, but whatever. It's fine. And the highlighter, of course, is stunning. And I love how the eyes turned out. And this lipstick, the Urban Decay lipstick, is amazing. I love their formula. And this foundation, so, so beautiful. Like, holy crap, it looks amazing on my skin. Wow. And it's so damn comfortable, but provides such beautiful coverage. Like... I love Tarte's complexion products. They're so good. So, love you guys. Bye.